Hello everyone and welcome to this short tutorial on writing scientifically. A scientific paper is comprised of six parts, each with its own specific purpose. They start with an abstract, then an introduction, methods, results, discussion, and references. This basic structure takes an audience through the thought process behind a study and provides them with multiple springboards for further investigation. Before we jump into scientific writing, keep in mind that scientific papers are very different from other types of papers. The main purpose of scientific writing is to communicate research, results, and implications. Scientific writing seeks to persuade with facts rather than language. As such, scientific writing should use objective language rather than subjective language. As an example, science writing should avoid any emotionally charged words such as frustrating or revolutionary. Substitute these with descriptive words such as challenging or advancement. This makes sense because scientific writing seeks to communicate rather than persuade. Your audience is anyone interested in not only reading your research but also replicating your study. On to the abstract. Papers start with an abstract that briefly introduces the scope of the paper to come. Think of the abstract as the Google search result that acts as a teaser or blurb to let readers know if your article will be relevant for them. For your introduction, write about your topic from the broad impact of the field to the specific role your study plays within it. Mention your motivation to pursue this line of study and cite the studies which built the foundation you required. In the methods section, keep your methods section strictly about the methods and materials you used in your study. The aim of this section is to aid others in replicating your results so small details such as the product brand and statistical software you used must be mentioned. When writing your own methods, try to answer pertinent questions you would ask someone else if it was your job to reproduce their results. This would include questions such as, how did you collect the data? Where did your materials come from? And how did you evaluate your data? Here is where you communicate the outcome of your investigation. Keep your results restricted to mentioning results. Avoid getting into any discussion about how you feel about the results or their impact. Make the scientifically statistical significance clear using relevant values. Use charts and tables to simplify your results. Figures that are difficult to understand only confuse readers, so keep figures concise and relevant. The discussion. This is where you get to tell your readers the implications of your research and report on any new knowledge or insights about your field. Put your study within the context of similar studies to compare and contrast your findings. Discuss what went right and what went wrong and anything else about your results you found interesting and relevant. Discuss how your study advances your field and mention what further work needs to be done. The last section of the paper, the acknowledgments and references, each perform their own role. Since science really works in a bubble and with its own funding, here is where you can take the opportunity to thank sponsors, colleagues, and mentors that helped you along the way. The references is a place for your citations, and citing not only gives credit where credit is due, but it also allows interested readers to find related studies and satisfy any scientific curiosities they may have about your field. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on how to write scientific papers.